Today we're going to talk about the woodsman's best friend, which is the toggle. I'm not talking about the jungle toggle or the improved toggle or the toggle trick that no one knows, only everybody knows it. Don't fall for that stuff. We're going to talk about a basic toggle. And in its best and basic format, a toggle is nothing but a stick about the size of your finger, little finger, middle finger, whatever. <laughs> it's about the size of your finger. Uh, and you can use it for a variety of different things. And we're going to look at a couple uh, in a couple seconds. But uh, what I do is I bring my own toggles along. And I, I went out to Home Depot and I bought a uh, three foot length of hardwood dowel rod, three eighth inch dowel rod. And I cut my own toggles that I bring along with me. This is about three inches long and I figured out that three inches is about the best length for a toggle. You'll find out in a second, find out why in a second. But I cut mine for a couple of reasons. One is they're nice and hard. Not like the stuff, the rotten oak twigs and everything you find on the, the forest floor. You know, it, 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 it just works easier if I bring my own along with me. Plus, I don't have to fritter around on the forest floor like a small woodland creature looking for toggles, like while all the other small woodland creatures laugh at me. So here we're gonna go uh, show you how I use my little three inch toggles built out of three eighth inch dowel, hardwood dowel. And we're gonna go see one of the best uses for it. Okay, so here we are at our tree. What you get is first you get a length of paracord I happen to tie a bowline in one end of it. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna loop it around the tree and we're gonna put our paracord through it, tighten it up on the tree. All right, raise it up a little bit. But now we got a length of paracord on the tree. Now, the easiest thing is, how do we attach our toggle? What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a marline spike hitch. So all we're gonna do is Tie that little loop, and we're gonna bend it back on itself. Pull this loop through, put the toggle through the loop, and we're gonna pull it tight. Put it somewhere in the middle of the toggle. Now, we bring our backpack along. All we do is we pass it through the backpack strap, and you've got something just like that. And you can hang your backpack from the tree. It's going to support the weight of the backpack. It's going to keep your backpack off the ground when the ground's wet. Now you got some place to put your stuff. Easy breezy. Nice 3 8 inch hardwood dowel rod in a marline spike around a bowl and around the tree. Easy breezy. Set it up in seconds. Okay. Okay, so another cool way to use your pre cut toggle is to attach your tarp to a ridge line. All I got is my standard tarp with the grommet here, and right here I have a prussic loop tied. If you don't know how to tie a prussic knot, it ain't really a knot. Uh, prussic is a bunch of loops. All it does is loop around your basic ridge line. Your prussic needs to be smaller than the diameter of the ridge line so it works well. So here we go. We got a prussic loop and we got a tarp and we got a toggle. All we're going to do is we're going to take our loop of our prussic we're going to pass it through from the underside through the grommet and pull the little loop out. Now we're just going to take our toggle, stick it in there and then slide our prussic loop over and tighten it up. Bingo, bango, bongo. Your tarp is held on your ridge line. You can tension it by pulling on the prussic loop. And now your tarp is attached to your ridge line. And it's quick detach. If you want to take this out, all you do is slide your prussic out, take your toggle out, take your prussic loop out, and then you're done. Okay, so what happens? If we don't know how to tie a prussing, or we don't have a prussing, okay, you can attach your tarp to your ridge line with just a toggle. I'm going to show you how, without tying any knots. 
I did a video on this a while back. I'm going to put a card to it in the upper right hand corner. It shows exactly how. But before you tighten your ridge line, all you're going to do is pull out a loop. Just a little loop on your ridge line. And you're going to put it through the grommet of the tarp. Okay? Just like that. Now you're going to put the toggle through this loop keeping some tension on it, you're going to tighten up your ridge line and you're going to tighten up your trucker's hitch so that that stays. Now, if you need to adjust your tarp, what you need to do is pull on it and it'll unroll and it'll roll right back up and it'll tension itself. That's how you can use a toggle. This is why I like to use my pre-made hardwood toggles because they're nice and smooth and they roll easily, okay? If you use a stick, you might encounter some knots or some, some bark and it won't roll as easily. But if you use these pre-cut toggles, they roll nice and easy. So that's a way to attach your tarp to a ridge line without a prussic loop. Let's go check out another couple of uses for a toggle. Okay, another pretty cool use for our toggle is that we can use it to lengthen a ridge line or lengthen a piece of rope. Say we have a ridge line and we're trying to span between two trees and we come up a few feet short and we need to attach another piece. Rather than tie it on, here's what you do. Really, really easy. All we're gonna do is just put a stop knot in the end and this is just a little overhand knot and then you slowly fish it out to the end of the line like that now you have a stop knot at the end of the line now it's really really easy to do this all you need to do is tie a lark's head in here so we just loop the paracord around put our fingers up through and around now we pull up the lark's head Okay, take our toggle, put it through the lark's head, and pull the lark's head down on the toggle. Okay, so now all we have is a lark's head on the toggle. Now, because this is a nice smooth toggle, and it is not full of bark and everything, the lark's head is going to slide really easy. So you just work this right on down to the knot at the end of the line. And when we get down, it's going to act as a stop knot at the end of the line. And your line is not going to slip. Okay, now we have a bowline tied in the other end of the line. All we do is put the bowline around that toggle. And you've connected two pieces of line that will not come undone. Again, all you have to do is take your bowline and put it around the toggle and put it around that side of the line. So now you've used your toggle to join two pieces of line. And if you want to get this out, all you do is take out your bowline, loosen this a little bit, pull out your toggle, bingo, bango, bongo. Now you're down to the end of the line. Let's go down and check out another great use of a toggle. Okay, let's say you got a water bottle. This is an aluminum one, so I'm not going to put it on the fire. But let's say you have a water bottle and you want to suspend this over a fire. Okay, first of all, we take off the top of the water bottle. This is where we need a native toggle. So you get a little smaller toggle that's probably about that diameter big enough so where it won't slip back through the neck but small enough to where it'll engage the sides okay so now I might put my bottle somewhere you get your same paracord with the stop knot okay you want to pull your lark's head through again okay just like that now you're going to take this toggle and you're going to put it just like last time, right in the lark's head. 
you can pull a knot, work your knot down. Okay. This may take a second. Okay. Work your knot down. Man, there's skeeters out here. Okay, work your knot down, and you got something like this. Now, we're gonna take our bottle, and we're gonna put this toggle right through sideways. Just put it right through to where it will engage both sides of the water bottle. Now, you just tie your water bottle, bottle up, and you suspend this bad boy over the fire. I sound like that guy Alfie Aesthetics. A bad boy water bottle. Okay, now that's an easy way to use a toggle with a stop knot to suspend a water bottle over a fire. Now you can boil water, you can get a drink, you won't die of dehydration out in the woods. Okay, let's go uh, wrap this up. Okay. So there's some of my favorite ways to use a toggle. Quick and easy, bingo, bango, bongo. If you have a prusik, great. If you don't have a prusik, I showed you a method to hang your tarp where you don't even need any prusik knots. Really, really easy. Uh, a great method of attaching two pieces of line, which is using a toggle and one loop. Uh, a really, really easy way to hang your water bottle uh, with another little toggle. Uh, and I really like using the pre-cut hardwood toggles because most of the stuff on the forest floor in Florida is wet and it's rotten. So you don't have to worry about getting the toggle and the toggle breaking in half on you. That's disaster when your toggle breaks. So you don't need tricks and you don't need hacks. You need a few good techniques and you need a little bit of intelligence and you need some practice and you will be an expert with toggles. Hope you like this video, and until next time, this is Matt the Old Florida Boy, and I will see you on the trail.